it's distressing. Again, well-meaning parents looking to do the best for their children are being provided with misinformation. And it's not that they're being told to buy, you know, this kind of peanut butter versus that kind of peanut butter. They're being asked to make a decision that could literally be a life and death issue. It's frightening, um, but I think it's also, um, it reminds us as physicians and nurses and other healthcare providers of the responsibility that we have not just to provide information, but to develop trusting relationships with the people that we care for. And the research has shown over and over again that the primary predictor of whether somebody will vaccinate or not is whether they have a trusting relationship with their healthcare provider. Mm -hmm. So if a parent asks you a question about a vaccine and you say, don't be silly, of course they're safe, or what a silly question, or don't worry about it, dearie, I know better than you. That's just not gonna cut it. You need to listen to people, understand where they're coming from, understand why they have the concern they do, figure out exactly what is the information they're looking for, and then provide it. Just throwing information at people is just not gonna cut it.